नमस्कार एंड वेलकम आई था आप सिक्का इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मिनट्स विल बी गेटिंग द टॉप 24 न्यूज ऑफ द लास्ट 24 फोर आवर्स आर्स आफ्टर डेली पुलिस अरेस्टेड ऑल्ट न्यूज को फाउंडर मोहम्मद जुबेर फॉर इज हिंदू फोबिक पोस्ट इट हैज बीन लर्न दैट ही फॉर्मेटेड इज फोन बिफोर इज अरेस्ट फर्दर जुबेर वॉज इवेसिव वेन क्वेश्चन बाय द पुलिस एंड डिड इन कॉपरेट विद द पुलिस फॉर्मिंग ग्राउंड फॉर इज अरेस्ट मोहम्मद जुबेर बैंक अकाउंट हैड ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ ओवर फिफ्टी लैक इन द लास्ट फ्यू डेज says delhi police speaking to a news channel deputy commissioner of police of ifso unit he said we have evidence that there have been transactions of over 50 lakh in the last few days using his account which we will look on to kps malhotra said that zubair arrest has nothing to do with nupur sharma's remark on mohammad the delhi police has registered a case against sonia gandhi's personal assistant pp madhavan on rape charges According to news reports a case has been registered against 71 year old Madhavan following allegations of rape of a Dalit woman Madhavan has been booked under the charges pertaining to section 376 punishment for rape and 506 punishment for criminal intimidation of Indian Penal Code Ekna Shinde claims support of 50 Shiv Sena MLAs speaking to a news agency Shinde said we are in Shiv Sena and we are taking Shiv Sena forward There should be no doubt about it. We will let you know about our further course of action. I would be in Mumbai soon. In another jolt to Uddhav Thackeray, Uday Samant becomes eighth minister to join the rebel camp. I have come to Guwahati because I am tired of conspiracies of people who are trying to weaken Shiv Sena for the past few days. I have decided to go with Ekna Chinde, who is promoting Bala Sahib Thackeray's Hindutva. She is rebel Shiv Sena MLA Uday Samant. Union Minister G Kishan Reddy unveils statue of Vaikom Padmanabha Pillai who defeated Tipu the triant of Mysore. Vaikom Pillai was a brave fighter and used traditional martial art of Kerala to fight against the national enemies. He also played a key role in defeating Tipu Sultan, G Kishan Reddy said. Asaduddin Owaisi's AIMIM extends support to opposition's candidate Yashwant Sinha. AIMIM legislatures will be voting for opposition candidate Yashwant Sinha in the presidential elections. Sinha spoke to me on call earlier as well. OVC tweeted. Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his address to G7 session on food security and gender equality categorically emphasized that India's approach had transitioned from women's development to women-led development. Amid Maharashtra political turmoil violence broke out on the streets of Kolhapur as supporters of rebel Maharashtra minister Rajendra Patel and some Shiv Sena workers met face to face workers of Uddhav Thackeray led party attacked even the police when they intervened to bring the situation under control as shown in the videos viral on the internet the strike against propaganda spreading twitter accounts continues in india as pakistan state broadcasters radio pakistan twitter account was withheld in india the account was withheld in response to a legal demand that tweets from their official handle radio pakistan are no longer visible in india now after this action by the twitter authorities actress ketki chitale gets interim relief in 21 fir's filed against her for sharing a post criticizing ncp supremo sharad pawar the 29 year old actress was arrested on may 15 for a facebook post where she had shared a verse allegedly written on sharad pawar chairman of shapurji polonji group padma bhushan polonji mystery passes away at 93 several leaders express condolences over the demise of an icon of the indian business world prime minister narendra modi also expressed grief on his demise mib holds special screening of rock tree the nambi effect film based on former isro scientist nambi narayan Speaking on the occasion actor R Madhavan said that the film is a celebration of India's technological powers across the space and IT sector. A 6 day old infant with his mother was evacuated from flood affected area by a team of Assam rifles in Silchar area. The parents of the infant thanked the brave men of the Indian army and said that even their son would join the Assam rifles one day. Prime Minister Narendra Modi who was on a visit to Germany to attend G7 summit 
presented its leader with various gifts displaying India's rich art and craft, particularly those related to Uttar Pradesh one district and one product scheme. Gifts included a hand knot carpet, carved matka, bottles, tea set, brooch and cufflinks. Prime Minister Narendra Modi gifted Nandi themed Bakra art from Chhattisgarh to Argentina's president during Germany visit. It is worthy to mention that Hindus worship Nandi since it is regarded as a carrier of Bhagwan Shiv. According to the Shiv Mahapuran, Nandi, who is commonly shown as a seated bull facing the Shivling in a Shiv temple, is Mahadev's most adored and fortunate follower. BJP worker found hanging from a tree in West Bengal, party blames Trinamal Congress. The deceased Sahadev Khav was founded hanging near Patharchati Kabristan in Bankura district of the West Bengal. The state unit of the Bharatiya Janata Party has accused Trinamal Congress miscreants of murdering the party worker. India will ban the manufacture, import, stocking, distribution, sale and use of identified single-use plastic items which have low utility and high littering potential all across the country from July 1, says Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Tibet was never a part of China before People's Republic of China invaded the Himalayan region in 1950. According to pre-1949 official records, this historical records completely discredited the Chinese claim to Tibet from ancient time. This is one of the outcomes of a multi-year collaborative historical research project published recently. A mixed martial arts fighter from Afghanistan brutally attacked Indian MMA star Shrikant Shekhar outside the ring at the Matrix Fight Night 9 event in New Delhi along with a mob of his supporters. The accused has been identified as Abdul Badkashi who has a fake Aadhaar card and dual passport. As per the reports, Shrikant sustained grave injuries during the attack including a broken jaw. Director Ram Gopal Verma booked for a derogatory tweet on NDA's presidential candidate Draupadi Murmu. The fire has been lodged at Hazrat Khan police station in Lucknow. A social worker Manoj Singh is said to have filed the case against Verma. This year, around 7 to 8 lakhs Jatris are expected to attend the Amarnath Chatra after a gap of over two years and all necessary security measures have been taken to ensure the safety. For the past one week, top officials have been engaged in a series of meetings to ensure the safe passage for the Yatra. An oil and natural gas corporation ONGC helicopter with nine people on board made an emergency landing near an oil rig in the Arabian Sea on Tuesday. All people have been rescued, ONGC said. India logs 11,793 COVID-19 cases, 27 deaths in the last 24 hours. The active cases comprise 0.21% of the total infections, while the national COVID-19 recovery rate was at 98.53%. We will be back with news at 9 tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy and do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel.